despite running fast. I just cannot catch up to Haiku releases. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host Nino, inviting you to a brief glimpse at Haiku Beta 1 Release 5. And as you can see, I have put the system onto an Asus EEE PC 4G, perhaps one of the least powerful systems one can think of in order to put any operating system onto, and yet Haiku runs as swiftly and as nimbly as one could ever dream. As you can see, it has even recognized my TP-Link wireless card automatically, unfortunately did not figure out its internal one quite so nicely, but, but this is working and it is a pleasure to use. In other videos on this channel, I'm making more in-depth reviews of this operating system and how to get a little bit into it. So. I will skip that part for the most. Suffice it just to say that this is the modern re-implementation of the BIOS operating system, which was known in the 90s for its elegance. And elegant it is indeed. And I can give you now a couple of personal impressions, if you will, concerning this new release. By and large, Things are very much the way we are seeing here in other videos. But as to the feeling of the system, let me say it feels sometimes as if this release is a little bit taking its time for some operations, in particular around package management. As a trade-off to this, however, it seems that things are going more stably and more smoothly. In other words, you may have to wait for a moment if you have an absolute antique machine as I do, but if you wait, things will run relatively nicely. Of course, despite Haiku's best efforts and most marvelous implementation, you still cannot run things on weak hardware where these things are not made for. For instance, this very beautiful Marble Atlas application, which I can warmly recommend to anyone with even the remotest interest in geography, is beautiful and fascinating and runs unbearably slow here, so unfortunately I will have to forgo it. But not only did they fix wireless, they fixed also LibreOffice. That was my greatest pain on 32-bit versions of Haiku R1 Beta 4, that is the preceding version. So we're having here all packages and somewhere down here is LibreOffice. And when you go to install it, it actually works. It actually installs. But the issue I was noticing on my machine, which you very well might not mo notice on yours, if yours is even a little bit more powerful, is that while LibreOffice is available here, it did not want to install over the graphical package manager. So here is LibreOffice. You see Abbey Word would also be available. It also has some sort of spreadsheet. And there is also the Caligra suite. So we are nicely equipped in terms of office suites if we want to give a little bit of productivity software to this little beauty. Now, how do you then get LibreOffice? That I also wanted to briefly note. The graphical installation did not work for me. I tried then with a command line installation of package man install LibreOffice lower slash x86. That failed. It said that it cannot install some kconfig x86. So I, ha I went ahead and I installed first kconfig x86 and when I then said to install LibreOffice, it installed and here we are having LibreOffice. Perhaps in terms of a little demonstration, 
we may have a look at it, what it looks like here. It is a little cramped, to be entirely sincere. And if you go here for the applications menu, be aware that you will not find LibreOffice down there. It's not there because it is in a folder. So therefore, it is above all other applications that you'll find installed. So don't be, don't be shocked if you go to applications and there's like no LibreOffice of any nature. It is just hiding here. And if I start the launcher, something I would not normally do. Normally, I would just start whatever LibreOffice application I have in mind. Then it does take a moment for it to come up. And we can see that actually on the processing power indicator over here. So LibreOffice is coming up, but it is not exactly in a hurry. A similar experience one makes a little bit if one tries to run the available Lisp system, which I'm actually very fond of, they are delivering as a possible package ABCL, Armed Bear Common Lisp, which I'm actually a great fan of. <laughs> and that is, however, Java based. And it also needs like a minute to actually come up in a usable fashion. And here we are. So you see, this is one of those moments which I told you about in the introduction where things are operating, but not doing so exactly very swiftly. You see, it is actually continuing. Now it tells you that the startup completed in just over half a minute. And it will take another such half a minute to present you with a prompt. But in the end, you can do Lisp research and in artificial intelligence and write papers about it. If not in open office, then you know you can install Lix or Tech or whatever else you want. But anyway, it somehow happened that this came up before my star office or LibreOffice in this case. Hey, that's weird. Is, is this even still trying to start? Let's get out of here, control D, let's get out of the Lisp and let's say PS. Anybody trying to start? Nobody trying to start. Awesome. Okay, LibreOffice is sometimes capable of crashing, unfortunately, and I seem, you know, how the demonstration effect is working. I seem to have stumbled onto exactly such a situation, but I will now launch the writer directly. It is trying to start it. We see that here. Yeah, finally it woke up. No, discard it. Yeah, I do not want to have it. Are you sure you want to discard? Yes, I am sure. Unfortunately, last time I played around with it, I managed to hang it. Yeah, hang in there. <laughs> so there you go. That is LibreOffice Writer's Startup on Haiku. And of course, the first thing we note is, hey, where are my menus? Where are things in general? Like, it's lovely that we're having here a couple of um, icons, but we, we should be having a bigger window. Well, you will have to drag it down just a little bit, but not, not just the toolbar, but the whole thing. Hmm. Uh, I'll space. Am I going to be able to do something? E yeah. Oh no. How's it going? Yeah. Great. Shifted the very smart toolbar. Ah. Finally managed to grab this. Okay, so here we are. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave it this way, given that I'm starved for horizontal space here anyway. This is having this, this wonderful resolution of 800 times 480. Yet, while it takes a good time to come up 
it then is easily usable. Yay! So we are having here a real LibreOffice, but let us say one would be ill-advised to try using that if particularly in a hurry. Okay, I don't need this document and last time I tried to simply, you know, exit LibreOffice, don't save. Hi, it didn't even crash, it just exited elegantly. And we are back on the terminal environment. And yeah, for further information on Haiku, I can certainly recommend you also the other videos on this channel including details of its installation and startup. Really there, nothing has changed, except that in the preferences, when you go for the network, it is now stable and not crashing. In my previous 32-bit Haiku install on an EEE PC 701, this was something which would very easily crash, but now no longer everything is Fine. Yeah, and that's really it in terms of Haiku. If you are having an EEE PC 4G and you're wondering what operating system to use, then let me heartily assure you Haiku is truly an excellent option. And if you go for Haiku, you will not be disappointed. The only thing you might need to get is an external wireless card. But you know, these things cost Nowadays, something like 10 euro. It does not need to be anything. Who knows how fancy. And while these people are calling it Beta 5, I must say, I have at times seen even commercial operating systems release things way worse than that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a nice little glimpse on the new Haiku release which has certainly fixed a lot of bugs and has become even more pleasant to use. If you're interested in further videos, then please do come again. I would be expecting you with the greatest joy. And if not a subscriber yet, please consider joining our friendly club. Until we meet again, I wish you a wonderful time. Thank you for watching and from me, goodbye.